Pa! Welcome to the channel. My name is Scusi Arts. We just arrived in a Canary Islands called El Hierro and we will be traveling alongside this beautiful island with Max in the background, this wonderful car. And yeah, we'll spend one week here. We'll be creating some beautiful artworks in nature and I'm happy to take you along this adventure. Let's go. Woo! Welcome aboard. Please also store your hand luggage under the seat in front of you and keep the eye clear for luggage passengers. We just landed in Tenerife and now we drive to Los Cristianos and then we take the ferry to El Hierro where we have a rental car waiting for us. But yeah, weather is good. It will take about two and a half hours to get to El Hierro. Pretty cool. Looks like a cruise. Got a beer. Oh, got a little Christmas tree. I mean, it's more comfortable than a plane, that's for sure. Uh. Yo, this boat is giving absolutely 100%. We just arrived in El Hierro. And now we have to get our luggage and then we're gonna get our rental car to drive to La Restinga. I think this is the one. Oi. Wait. There's the painting equipment. This is our way to La Rastinga. Good morning. We are up. <laughs> it took about 12 hours or 15 hours from Frankfurt to here. So we're still a little bit tired, but there's a place where you can swim here. So that's where we're going now and have a nice morning swim at the beach. Well, it's not a real beach because there are rocks everywhere. Man, this is so relaxing. gonna have some lovely breakfast with a nice view and then we're gonna explore the city okay so now we're exploring La Rastinga uh, there's a little bit of an art scene here pretty cool let's see what else they have to offer apparently there's a local fish market down there and we're gonna see if we maybe can get some fish there at some point Pretty cool art, but the market itself unfortunately closed at this time. They only open at like 14.30 or something. From the distance we saw this really tall cement wall. So we're gonna check that out, see what's happening there. Maybe we could even paint a picture there at some point. Yeah, this is giving me some scrapyard vibes. A few artists here, apparently.
looks like the cabin of an old boat or something. Like the cap captain cabin. <laughs> a microwave. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring my spray paints because you can't fly with them because uh, they're flammable. Some sort of a rabbit or something. I don't know, someone was building something here. Feels like going into someone's home. <laughs> Yeah, so that place was pretty cool. We're definitely going to come back there to paint something. There are these big paintings all around the city here. It's pretty cool. So I just talked to a local guy here. Those paintings, they were done on a two days festival a few years back. So no collab. Almost forgot this guy. Uh, that would have been a bummer <laughs> but yeah it w we weren't too far like 10 minutes okay guys we'll be driving to a uh, light tower i think you call it it's the most southern point of europe the roads they are absolutely beautiful to drive very well maintained and yeah just check it out it looks absolutely beautiful we got a nice suv so we're driving comfortably Lighthouse is only like 40k away, but it will take at least an over an hour to get there because of the high elevation that we're at and the curvy roads. Yo, check out this viewpoint. It's called Viewpoint El Julian. Pretty dope. A few degrees colder since we had quite the elevation also the terrain has changed there are lots of trees now behind us we're gonna be camping there also one night we have like this cool uh, forgot what it's called <laughs> I I'll remember soon I, I know <laughs> anyways pretty nice pretty cool we just found this little mountain there and we want to climb it you can see it the view is already absolutely stunning let's check it out it's so quiet here not a sound a little bit of wind but actually not too much whoa I almost just died. We got Max in the background. Very sweet, yeah. I feel like on a jungle adventure. A little bit. Let's see what awaits us at this little point. Lovely. Lovely out here. Yo, this is sick. What a view. Let's do a quick 360. And if you, I'm not sure if you look down there, right from the mountain, there's the light tower where we're going now, actually. Let's go through, see what's on the other side. There's a fence uh. And then we are <laughs> here. Okay guys, so this is the first time I try this concept of the traveling artist and I really enjoy it. It's so much fun. Later we're gonna paint a picture in nature actually. So that's super cool. 
and it's something I want to do more often. I want to visit like lost places and just cool cities in Europe and all around and take you along the ride and show you everything that I'm seeing and giving you some perspective and taking you along this adventure and also combining it with my passion which is art and yeah we're almost at the lighthouse these roads are so nice enjoy yep it's the light tower It is so peaceful and quiet, except for my silly voice. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is cool. on the camera yeah it's closed and no way to get in but we're gonna fire up the drone see if we can catch some nice views Okay, we finished our test with the drone and got a good view of the light tower and the cliffs and everything. And now we're just at this beach point thingy and gonna eat something, have some sandwiches and some beers. Peace. Oh, the water's crisp with there. Beautiful. Okay, we're back in the car and we're gonna drive to a viewpoint or something to watch the sunset. Okay, so we basically found like this church randomly. It looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's closed. That's pretty cool. Who knows? Watch the sunset. All good vibes here. I think what we're gonna do now is gonna set up a little bit of our stuff. And I think it's time to paint a picture, a small one, and watch the sunset. You can actually walk through here. You'll probably have a really, really nice view of the stars. Well, that's a contrast. We've got this on one side, and then this beautiful sunset on this side. Let's get back down here. Yo, this is a sick cave, man. That's so cool. Wow. I think we're gonna set up right here.
Okay, we're starting with some red tones. Oh, we have like a cherry red. Actually, the first time using this type of colors. Looks pretty nice. Brighten it up a little. And then here on the top, we're gonna start with some blues. Because we're feeling blue. No, actually we're not. We're feeling great. Oh yeah, that's a nice blue to be honest. This cherry red sets the tone up here. gonna start dabbing this start blending those colors basically and then we have something to work with we want to finish the painting oh yeah it's getting really windy now hey. of course I'm taking care that we're not gonna pollute the, the nature here so that's why I don't want to use water or anything because I don't want it to drop down and like go into the soil. Well, let me give you a You know, at the beginning, I didn't really know if the concept of a traveling artist, if it works. Now having to paint or painting the first layer of this painting, that really gives me hope to be honest. This is what it's all about. Creating memories, creating cool stuff. Or what would really be nice is actually a little bit of yellow. Not too much though. And we have a good base. Nice guys, so the first painting or the first part of this three-piece painting we completed here in I forgot the name but we have a beautiful cave behind us the sun is just peeking through those clouds absolutely stunning absolutely amazing first day see ya later Bow. what a view man doesn't even look half as good on camera Good morning, day two. Today we're gonna do some cage exploring. Uh, the first one is on top of this mountain. We're not exactly sure how to get there, but we're gonna check it out. See you in a bit. We're almost at the top. We're gonna use our drone to figure out where this cave is because we can't find it. But yeah, this view as always quite amazing. Okay, so the drone that didn't work because uh, we forgot the cable at the car but we think here it looks like an entrance to a cave so uh, yeah we're just gonna walk there check it out if not go back to the car okay so we think we found the entrance oh wait where's the entrance I thought ah it's somewhere else <laughs> we found the cave. <laughs> so it seems like it's closed. <laughs> Renovation. But let's check out that ruin there. I don't know why anyone would build this here. I'm sure it had a purpose. <laughs> First view. There's a chair here. <laughs> Some crazy little animal. Ah, this could be a cool motive for painting. It's really cool how you can see how the lava was flowing and then slowly drying, leaving this massive landscape. 
full of these dark rocks. Okay guys, we didn't want to give up, so we're still on the way back. We said, let's try the other side of the mountain. Maybe there we will find the cave. And now, Max has found it. So yeah, never give up, boy. Huh? We're inside the cave. It's fucking hot in here. <laughs> it's so dark, you can't see shit. It goes deep. Even now with my flashlight, I can't see anything. Yo! Kombinier mal unsere Lichter. Okay, that was sick. We found it. We went inside, but it was so hot and we didn't have flashlights. So we decided to turn around back in the car. Check out this wonderful artwork. This one you might recognize from yesterday. And now basically what we're doing, we're driving to this supposedly pretty cool viewpoint and you need to take some dirt roads to get there so we're really excited to test our suv see you at the top peace we made it to the dirt roads the sun is peeking through those trees what more do you want the suv very smooth driving we're very happy with it yo we just found this really cool tree called pino piloto <laughs> And basically, I think there was a fire or something, but you can just walk straight through. <laughs> He's taking a shit in the middle of the tree. Trying to go to a lookout, but we found this lovely place. And we're gonna fire up the drone and give you some lovely shots. to the top whoa <laughs> check this <laughs> yo this might be the biggest pine cone pine cone pine cone i've ever seen <laughs> a little bit fresh up here quite a few degrees colder yeah so that's why i put on a jacket max is hungry so he asked me for some food before he gets grumpy again but we got it all in the backpack. Might even paint a picture here. Be a nice spot to camp as well. One of the best maps I've seen so far. We came from here. And here. And then we get here. Okay, so this is the first time we're actually gonna be able to look on the northern side of the island. Now that is what we call dope as fuck. <laughs> Yo! This might be one of the nicest views I had in a really long time. Yo! And then these clouds, but there you have a really nice blue sky. This is what it's all about, mates. It is so lovely. We got the sun and we got some amazing views. This is so beautiful. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're gonna look for a spot where we can set up all our stuff and paint a picture here with this amazing view in the background. Yeah, it's quite fucking steep. I found my painting spot. <laughs> Oder? Nee, ist nicht windig. Nee, ist wirklich nicht windig. Okay, guys, we decided to go for the first spot. 
which is right here. Amazing view in the background. And we're gonna eat something and then we're gonna paint. What's up guys? <laughs> uh, we also have a camera here. Okay, so second setup, dope as fuck. Let's start painting. Uh, yeah, let's see what we're doing. Uh, yesterday we painted more of a red. Today I'm seeing more of a green. Well, let's start with some white. So because we're not using any water, the colors will blend nicely. So we go with some crisscross actions. Yeah, maybe that could be cool. Can just start crisscrossing, eh? Remember to look up and actually enjoy the view as well. Remember where we are. I love this color. In the shade, the color looks way more purple than it is. So I'll go out of the shade. Sit back. Use a dry brush these colors down. Use a little bit of a darker green. Now let's use some white. Also some light green again. We're gonna let this dry now. Enjoy the view a little bit. And have a beer. That was awesome. We're trying to catch a spot where we can watch the sunset. So we're heading back to the other side of the island. We wanted to head back and actually there's a paraglider. Wappa! <laughs> we have some clouds here. Oh, there you can see him. Very mystical here with all the clouds. These streets here, they're giving me almost like tropical vibes because uh, they have so much moss hanging onto them and it's like super bright green, which is just really cool. One of my favorite roads to be honest so far, I don't know, it just looks so cool. And we can see the sun, so we think it's gonna be a good sunset. Okay guys, day two is complete. It was an absolute blast. We just had a nice sunset. And yeah, we're gonna grab some food and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today, the weather is not too good, but we started just driving around these small little villages and found this place. 
where they make cakes, basically. So we're gonna check it out. Okay, it's raining. He doesn't like rain. <laughs> we got some, I don't know what it is. Oh, something with cocos. And Busqueta de Anis. <laughs> Probably both things that I don't really like. It's okay. <laughs> you like it? No. No. <laughs> it was the best rated sweet shop in the whole of El Juego. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Let's try this. These look nice, they look crispy. <laughs> They're not crispy, but it's nice. It's like a donut dough fried. Yo, look at these clouds. You can barely see the roads. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check out the other side because uh, the cloud they get stuck on the mountain and maybe there we'll have a better view. And now it has cleared up a little bit on this side. So what we're gonna do we're gonna stay on this side and see what we can do here. Okay, so here in the lower levels you can see the massive clouds behind me. But down here it's quite clear. So we just picked out a random spot with the cliffs here. Oh wow. Oh, there's some lovely pools where you can swim. Hey Max! Das ist auch krank! Okay, it's time to do our daily swim. And man, the water, mwah, crystal clear. Damn, check out that view from down here, that looks awesome. Okay, so we're done swimming. We're just gonna check out this city for a little bit, a few minutes, and then head back to the car, grab something to eat, and then see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I guess you can rent these or something. I don't think actually anybody lives here. Back in the car, let's see if we can find a cool place to chill and enjoy the sun a little bit. Another drive, another viewpoint. They made this place very beautiful. Cute little cafe. Oh, look at this thing.
the day is coming to an end. It was a mixture of clouds and sun, but at the end we got this amazing sunset. And we're just gonna relax here for a little bit. Uh, our apartment is just like five minutes down the road. So we're excited for the days to come. We'll do some camping and all that stuff. See you tomorrow. Pew! Good morning! We are here at the place that we discovered on the first day. And as you can see, Max is just setting up all the camera equipment. We got our canvas lined up. <laughs> this is our canvas. It's about, let's say, one meter high and another two meters long. I only have two paint brushes. Let's start some magic, eh? Guys, we finished the painting, or at least the very first layer. A little bit tricky because maybe now you can see it a little bit better. See my foot as a reference. So I have about two steps. It's also quite a nice drop down here, so you definitely don't want to fall. So we were just playing with these different colors. We have some nice contrast. Once I'm home, I'm gonna clean up the edges and make it more presentable. We're gonna let this dry and see you in a bit. <laughs> On top of the world. Oh, you see the little knife there? I shouldn't forget it. Oh, we're pretty high. That's the drone. Yesterday we were up there and up there. 
Now next to this church, there's some sort of a theater. But that's a theater with a nice view. Let's see the church up there. What a beautiful theater with a gorgeous view. Okay guys, now we're heading to our camping spot. So we have one hour till we arrive there and then we have about one and a half hours until sundown. So we'll see you when we're setting everything up. Ow! We definitely have to admire or be grateful for the lovely weather that we have today. Yeah, bleib noch stehen und bastard. Okay, the terrain is changing. And I think we're close to a possible camping spot. So let's just check out the surrounding area. We found our camping spot. Check this out. Lovely trees. Amazing view. Okay, everything is set up. It took like literally maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So what you do is you have these straps, put them around a tree. Then you put your hammock on one side, the other side attached to this tree and then you have a mosquito net though there are no mosquitoes here actually i'm sleeping there and max is sleeping here and this is the view that we have i have this small canvas Nine. <laughs> we forgot to film <laughs> so i have this small canvas and i still have some markers so I'm just gonna paint a little picture, nothing crazy. I'm gonna set you guys up and then we'll paint a little, a tiny picture. I have only a few colors, gonna have a little fun with them. Let's start with some yellow. Ah, stop dripping on me. Enjoy the sunset. I'm gonna put you in a time lapse, so you will enjoy that too. This is what we just painted. I mean, I like it. Hi guys, future Scoozy here. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. If you do, subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Enjoy the rest of the video. The sun is barely shimmering through on the horizon. We have a nice little campfire going and this is how we're gonna spend our evening now see you tomorrow <laughs> good morning guys that was a tough night way less sleep than expected because it was really really cold so it was hard to sleep also it wasn't really <laughs> comfortable but that being said i'm lying here in my hammock and i can see the sun rising just there which is warming my face that's super nice we're gonna drive to apparently one of the most beautiful beaches here and have our routinely morning swim and then see what the days bring we are now in el sabinar and here you have a pretty famous tree. I don't know what happened to him. Seems like he has a little bit of a scoliosis. <laughs> there are quite a few of them down there. Okay, so the reason why this tree bends like it does is because of the strong winds. So the tree basically grows with the wind because it can't grow straight. And over time it bends over like that as a defense mechanism to withstand the strong winds that we have here. On our way to the beach, we found this sign that said there's a viewpoint here, but it's close. So we still decided to go there. It's a little bit dangerous or something. It goes down pretty steep here. Wow. 
Yeah. Try not to fall. Yeah, I can understand why they closed this. <laughs> Bye! Somewhere down there is the beach where we're heading. Wow, this is so cool. You already know what time it is. It's Drone time! Okay guys, we made it to the Playa del Veruda and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice here. No one's here, so we have the whole beach for ourselves. What's interesting is that they have black sand because of all the volcanic ashes. Ah. Sharp little stonies. Ah, painful. Jesus, that hurt. Ugh, made it. The current is way too strong, so we can't really go inside. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab something to eat and then we're gonna drive back on the other side, on the top of the mountain and see maybe if we can get a better view from the cliffs because that is absolutely amazing, hey? Okay, the weather has changed a little bit. We even had a little bit of rain just now. So uh, we're hoping on top we'll, we'll get greeted by a little bit of sun again. Anyways, we'll make the best of it. Oh, no. Hey guys, can anyone here can anyone here help me out? We found this lovely hill right on the cliff side and we're gonna check that out. You can see the hill behind me. It's quite windy, also a little bit cold, but we out here. We out here! Max is cold, so he wants to do a little run. You want to see Max struggling? <laughs> there he is. From far away, this mountain didn't look as steep as it actually is. <laughs> Lovely countryside. Reminds me of Scotland. Okay, let's check out what's down there. That's where the cliffs begin. Oh, holy shit.
Okay, so we are gonna buy something sweet as a present now for our parents or whomever we like. So if you get a present, you know I like you. <laughs> if you watch this, then I like you even more. And then we're gonna try and see on the other side if we can catch the sunset. It's sweets time! I mean, we were here before. I need my wallet. Oh my God, it's so windy. We've been driving past this bar every day now. So we decided today, because the weather's pretty shit, we don't know if we're gonna get a sun sunset. Uh, we're gonna decide just to have a drink there. We have this beautiful art in the background would usually be the sunset but i think today we're not so lucky guys 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 what can i say this trip is slowly coming to an end it was absolutely phenomenal yeah i put a lot of effort into this i hope you guys see it i hope you guys enjoy it i want to travel all around europe and then of course also paint pictures while doing so tomorrow we take the ferry today we we're, we're just gonna chill and yes yeah, scoozy out <laughs> we hope the clouds clear up a little bit more the sun's gonna set there we'll see we'll see you know you guys ready for time lapse <gasps> kaboom I'm wishing everyone a prosperous and healthy year 2024. I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. I'm happy to see you next time. Scoozy out!